Greetings, my name is Neil Second, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Corpse Party 2 Dead Patient. I just got I just got done finishing uh, Corpse Party Blood Drive and finishing the Heavenly Host arc. And now I'm ready to uh, start uh, Corpse Party 2, which is supposed to star a new cast of characters and start a, a new start new story that you don't need to uh, have any uh, familiar prior knowledge of any of the previous Corpse Party games to understand or jump into. As far as I'm aware, Corpse Party 2 doesn't have any direct connections to the previous entries. But I suppose we'll find that I'll find out I'll find out whether whether or not that's true as I play. And I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of I've been kind of excited to uh, give this give this game a go ever since it uh, unexpectedly came out around the time I was uh, doing my let's play of uh, Blood Drive. And I'm quite curious to see just uh, well, what what exactly this new story arc is going to be and what kind of threats I'll what kind of threat I'll be dealing with this time around. So I guess I'll just go ahead and just get started. All we have here is just uh, chapter one and uh, some EX and EX chapters, and that's it. So not a whole lot to really go on, but hopefully what's here will be good. So let's just go ahead and start. Do you wish to view the prologue? But of course I do. It's tradition. <coughs> the silence of a dim room was broken by a faint ding indicating that another email has, had been received. The computer's user moved his hands from the keyboard to the mouse and clicked into the mailbox. He was greeted by row after row of messages, all of the same subject. Blanks, nods to the netherworld, contact form. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing here, Ayumi? Well, I guess since you're here... I guess uh, this uh, story, this game's events, must be uh, some in some way connected to Heavenly Host Arc after all. At least in some capacity, so... With that assumption, now at the forefront of my mind, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just uh, play, I'm just going to play Corpse Party 2 with the, with, with the belief here that... Uh, the Heavenly Host Arc's events will, at least in some, at least to some capacity, play a role in what happens in this game. So, if you want to avoid any spoilers for uh, any of the previous Corpse Party uh, games, I would go ahead and just stop the stop the video here. Otherwise, feel free to just uh, let it keep playing. I've given you fair fair warning. The black-haired boy gave a soft sigh then looked away from the screen, casting his eyes to the opposite corner of the room. <laughs> we sure do get a lot. What should we do with them all? Hmm, no spoken dialogue. The boy's tone was troubled, but remained kind and even as he spoke. He was showing obvious consideration for his companion. And that companion was a single girl wearing a white cardigan. She was seated in the corner of the room, illuminated by the sunlight, but didn't even move a single muscle. You must be talking to Yoshiki, right? Whoever you are, sir. Her gaze was unfocused. Looking at her, one could be forgiven for wondering if she were really cognizant of her surroundings, or if she existed as a little more than a vegetable. We should shut the window, at least. We don't want you catching a cold, Shinazaki.
Hello. <laughs> you look like the title character I've seen on the cover art of this game. So, I'm assuming you are our protag. Unspoken dialogue. What's going on? What's happening to me? Where am I? And why are you strapped to an operating table? I racked my brain, trying to understand the situation I was in and how I could have gotten here. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't remember a thing. Is anyone there? <laughs> Excuse me? So, who am I and why am I strapped to a goddamn table? Is there a reason for this? Am I dangerous? Or is someone just an asshole and just wants to take my kidney or something? I'm scared. I'm so scared. Oh, hello. What a prompt. Well, that was easy. Ow! It was a needle. Was I hooked up to a drip? It hurts so much. It feels like my head is about to burst open. Oh, hello, you... Uh... That's a lot of blood. Is that from the is that from the needle? <coughs> God I made such a mess. If you're bleeding, we need to get you bandaged up. So woozy. That's all I can do just to remain conscious. I can't believe I soiled myself. Maybe the aesthetic hasn't completely worn off yet. Wait, so that red pile beneath you is. not blood? Well. But this looks like an operating room. But what am I doing here? <laughs> what I want now. Wait, who... who even... am I? An amnesiac, eh? Not... not plotting... not... A, not nothing I'm not... nothing I'm not unfamiliar with, but... I guess I wasn't expecting that. <gasps> I can't remember anything! Objective Octave. Escape from the operating room. Okay, we're in control. Can I examine random objects in the environment? There are a number of surgical tools here, including a pair of forceps. Forceps! A medical tool that resembles a pair of scissors, used to clamp blood vessels during surgical procedures. Press the B button, then use the directional arrows to cycle through and view items currently in your possession. To use an item, select it from the item menu. This will place it in Ayami's hand, so that's your... Yeah, so your name is Ayami. She will then automatically use it when interacting with a corresponding object or person. Hmm. Neat. Okay, so exclamation marks and the little button prompt thing on the bottom right corner to let me know when there's something I can examine. There's a graph spinning on the monitor, though it's unclear what any of the numbers on it mean. That up there looks like a phone that's sparking out on us. 
Looks like someone cut the wire on it. So what's this? There's a small key on the chair, faintly glinting in the dull light of the room. A small key. A key that looks a bit too small to fit in any doors. Then maybe there's something in here we can use it on. And this? Obtained a medical chart number three. Patient Ch uh, Chihiro Yamada. Where are the other two? Okay, medical charts. Here we are. So this is our pause menu. Okay, uh... Name, Chihiro Yamada. Sex, female, blood, O, RH plus. Birthday, uh... August 28th. Height 170 centimeters, 5'7, weight 121 pounds. Reason for admission hyperventilation slash panic disorder. So you had a uh, severe panic attack? Hmm. <clears throat> so what's this? There doesn't seem to be much inside, but it's big enough to fit a person, so this could potentially be useful. Use of hind spot and pinch. Okay, so I guess I I guess um hiding in closets is a returning mechanic from blood drive. Interesting. Oh, I can see a stain on your skirt. There's a red warning message flashing on the screen. There's a single medical record here with a note attached to it. Medical record has a patient name and photograph listed listed on it as well. Read the medical record. Well, why not? This, this is me. Then we definitely gotta read this. Hayame Ito. Ito. I'm going to assume it's Ito. Hayame Ito. Hayame. <coughs> Yes, that's right. That's my name. My name is Ayami Ito. I finally remember. There's an ID card lodged inside the file. ID card, security card that grants access privileges to its owner. Can be used to unlock a specific door. Like maybe the one right up there? An ID card. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest here. Where's, where's my thing? Hmm. So there's 30 charts total, huh? Okay, I guess I can just mess with that light if I want. Cabinet doors are locked up tight. <clears throat> I wonder if I can get this open. Well, maybe I can. Use small key to open the cabinet doors. The inside is full of disposable surgical items. Among them are several pairs of disinfected, disinfected rubber gloves. Rubber gloves. Thin rubber gloves used worn during surgical procedures. <coughs> there isn't anything else worth taking now. Okay. There's a chart of some kind on the screen. The numbers on it are increasing and decreasing rapidly. Too rapidly to mean anything good. Surgical procedures. I'm, I'm going to assume I'm going to need to wear these for that phone up there, right? The one that's fizzing out on us. It's a card lock designed to unlock a door, only when a valid ID card is scanned. The cable leading to it is cut, however, it's receiving no power. I wonder if anything I can use to connect to Hazel's cable. I kind of figured. I'd need to use the gloves, but I just wanted to check and see what it said, just to be sure. Let's try this. Is there anything you see? Okay, uh... Maybe the forceps? If I can put these forceps between the two halves of this cable to complete the connection... Yeah! Electricity ran through the forceps. Delivering a rather significant electric shock. It's much too dangerous to do this with bare hands. Well, I try to do it with gloves. I 
put these rubber gloves on before using the force steps. That should protect me from getting electrocuted. There we go. The connection is holding. The card reader has power now. It's awaiting input. Okay. <coughs> there we go. Easy peasy. Chart number 24, patient Mio uh, Sunahara. Mio Sunahara, sex female, blood A, RH, birthday October 31st, right on Halloween. Height 5'6, weight 128 pounds, reason for admission blood poisoning. Oof. Wonder what could have poisoned you? Bad food, maybe? door is locked. The sign on it reads MRI room. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to uh, examine those papers on the floor, but I guess I can't. <clears throat> uh, hello, who are you? I notice you also have uh, silver hair like I do. Are you related to Ayami in any way? What is this? It's all black and syrupy. Ew! <clears throat> Maybe I should go down this way. Try follow who? Try follow that girl. Uh, hello. <gasps> it's so quiet. Why is there no one else here? Ada! Excuse me. Is anyone? There? Uh. It's so dark, too. I can't... Huh? Uh. Oh, this is the second floor. Where is everyone? Are there any nurses? Everything's a mess, too. What happened here? Was this place... ransacked? So creepy. A hospital being ransacked? Unlikely. Okay. Stay calm. <clears throat> I just need to see if I can find someone. Maybe I'll remember something along the way. I can do this. Can I... Can I uh, go back and... Okay, so... That's my run button. Can I go in here and look? Doors locked. A sign that reads MRI. What about here? Also locked. It says emergency exit. Okay, so I guess I really was supposed to go this way. Um, what do we have here? Ooh, I can move objects. Okay, the medical chart number 12. Patient. Hinata Morinaga. Uh, sex female. Blood A. RH negative. Birthday June 18th. Height 4'4. Four four, weight uh, 53 pounds. Reason for reason for admission for admission. Uh, paro paroexia. I have never heard of that condition before. You know what? Let me look that up real fast. I'm curious. Paroexia. An appetite for unusual foods. Hmm. Yeah, actually, actually, I am aware of this condition. I just didn't know what it was called. Hmm. I wonder what they eat. I have heard of stories of people uh, eating things like uh, bits of toilet paper, paper towels, and chewing on uh, paper towels and stuff like that, but it's not exactly something I really looked into all that much before. I hear a phone up there. There's an item on the other side. <clears throat> so... Okay, you're panting. Uh, 
I guess I can either run indefinitely or for a really long period of time. But I'm wondering if her panting might be a, a, a mechanic I should worry, it might be some kind of mechanic, like I don't know, no, me generating noise, like, we got all these, we got all this debris here, is noise going to be a factor when it comes to gameplay, like if I gotta hide from things, I gotta be quiet too, Obtained medical chart number 7, patient uh, Yuri, uh, Yurika Sakamoto. Does that last name sound familiar? Okay, female, blood, RH, B, RH plus, birthday June 3rd, height 5'7, weight 112 pounds, reason for mission, body integrity identity disorder. Hmm. Body integrity identity disorder, huh? Why don't I look that up real f f real fast too? Okay, body integrity identity disorder. Body integrity identity disorder is a proposed disorder in which otherwise healthy individuals perceive one or more of their limbs or organs as alien to the rest of their body and wish to have it amputated. Oh, yeah, I know this condition, too. BIID appears to be related to uh, Samoto uh, Paraphrenia. Uh, People with this condition may refer to themselves as transabled. It's been a damn long time since I've heard of this condition. <clears throat> the fire door is closed and locked. There's no way through. Hmm. Let's try going up here then. Hey! That's a candle. And a very pixelated one at that. So, I see candles are still the same old safe, uh, safe feature as always. So, I get a total of 31 safe slots, huh? Well, 32 if you count number zero. Boxes are stacked up here, and they're surprisingly heavy. Getting past them doesn't seem like it would be easy. It might be faster to simply look for another route. I disagree. You should just pull your, put your weight into it. Charge right through. The door says office on it. It's locked. There's a note. <clears throat> Be back in a bit. I'll leave the key with someone else in the changing room, in case anyone needs to get in here in the meantime. Management. Objective. Objective updated. Get the office key from the changing room. Okay. Let's find the changing room. Oh, it's a directory. Mare Patri uh, Patriarcha? Patriarcha? I don't recognize the name at all. Mare Patriarcha. Hmm. The director reads Amare Patriarcha Crucius. Uh, uh, Crucis. That would seem to be the name of this hospital. I want to look up this name real fast, see if it means something. Apparently it's Latin for a Love Patriarch Cross. Hmm. So, a religious hospital? I wish it listed the address. I have no idea where I actually am right now. <clears throat> hmm. In our closet right here. Wow, this is nice. I can actually see myself outside of the closet. Instead of just having a black screen with a beating heart and a little sound indicator. I 
I definitely think I might appreciate. I, de I definitely think I might appreciate that change, rather than having to rely on sound. And hey, I recognize this track. It's locked. 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 Nameplate reads Hisha, uh, Hoshino. One of these has got open, right? Obtained medical chart 15. Patient Haruka Ibuki. Haruka Ibuki. That also sounds. That name also sounds familiar. Haruka Ibuki, male. Blood ORH positive. March 26, height 5'8, 130 pounds, reason for admission. Uh, tetra. Tetra. Uh, tetra. Uh, Tetrachromasi. Depression. <clears throat> what are you depressed about? Hmm. There are enough groupings here that I'm betting these lockers are sorted by the Japanese alphabet. Vowels first, then K, S, T, C, and H, F, M, Y, L, I, R, L, and finally W at the end. switched on, but it seems to be malfunctioning, as it's not displaying the current time. It does still seem like it can accept, can accept cards, however. Did I just find it? No, that was a medical chart. Duh. <coughs> it's a washing machine. It's full of white clothes and smells faintly of mold. Come to think of it, I have no idea how long I've been wearing this uniform. Six patient uh, Aika Tachibana. So, are these essentially meant to be our equivalent of name tags? <clears throat> uh, name, okay, yeah, female, blood A, RH positive, birthday uh, July 16th, height 5'1, 115 pounds, reasons for admission, pneumonia. Oh, that sucks. This has been put up on the board. All laundry must be placed in a hamper, corresponding to the day of your shift. I don't even know what day of the week it is right now. There's nothing inside the canvas hamper. There are quite a few of these hampers here. One, two, three. I count seven in total. Wait, what did that say? Crap. Inside one of his pockets, there's a key. Hey, I got a locker key. There's a white coat with the name Nishida on it. Okay, I found something. This looks like he did one of the lockers in the changing room. Okay, so... Nishida was... Wait a minute. Medical charts. 
Muscle memory from blood drive and the run button is going to be a bit of an annoyance to deal with for a little while, it seems. this way. See if I can find something here. I'll just come back to there later. Obtained medical chart number 18. Patient Tsubami Kitami. Male blood O, RH negative. Birthday October 1st. Height 5'8", 137 pounds. Reason for admission? Appendicitis. I don't know what that is. <coughs> isn't responding. This emergency stop seems to have been activated. Governor door is slightly ajar. He attempts to see inside are futile, however, as it's actually pitch black within. Isn't the elevator coming? Is something blocking the door from closing down below, maybe? I guess I'll have to, um, figure out what the cause of that is. Okay. It's coming from this direction somewhere. The phone ring. Hello, there we go. Locker is now unlocked. Office key. Okay, so I guess I really just needed to try them at random. Alright then. The key is adorned with a sticker that has the word office written on it. Now that's taken care of. There's no further use for time cards or locker keys. So those have all been discarded. Okay. Let's get to that office. <laughs> Door says office on it. It's now unlocked. I'll just leave that be for now. The computer is switched on, but there's some kind of error on the screen. It seems to be frozen. A small number of files on the shelf, but there doesn't seem to be anything of interest among them. Interest on the shelf. Um, uh, for a second there, I thought I just. I just made myself. I stuck myself in something. There are a number of cannons lined up along the wall, but they all seem to be locked. There. <clears throat> the 
computer switched on. Okay, that also has an error. There is a bundle of papers on the desk. They've all been signed by someone named Mikami. The board is practically overflowing with to-dos. Being a hospital clerk must be a really busy job. Undoubtedly so. I got a medical chart. Number 29, to patient, you die. You die. That's it? You die? Male. Blood B B R H plus birthday uh, September twenty first height five nine weight one forty three pounds reason for admission bled out dang what the hell happened to him <coughs> when the mirror keypad is attached to the door the, the correct combination must be entered to unlock it uh, uh, uh one 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 two. Obviously that, that, that couldn't have been it. Hmm. Did I see a number anywhere? Well, signed by someone named Mishio Mai. All papers. Itamura. Is there something on these screens? I see a note on that one. A sticky note is attached to the computer monitor. The Chief's coffee cup is the red one. Don't get it mixed up with your own. <coughs> coffee cup, pile of documents on a desk. This one has a list of names on it. I should take it with me. Could be useful. Staff list. Document found on one of the desks in the hospital's main office. Okay. Come on. Birth dates and where they work. Okay, here's what I'll do. I got this thing. Let's try the person let's try the the birth years I got here. Coffee cup is the red one. Don't mix up if you're on. Okay, so there's this one right here, right? Mitamura. So, Mitamura, you are the chief. I put your birth year in there. Maybe I should try the month and maybe I should try the month and days. So oh. God, I my damn short term memory. That's what I if that's what's wrong with me. O two twenty one. Okay, there we go. Oh two. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. That wasn't too bad. Well, now we're on the other side of these boxes. What was that? Uh. 
Do I even want to... What the hell? Uh, hey there, old man. <coughs> that was a ghost, wasn't it? It's locked up tight. What the hell am I hearing? I don't like that sound. It's locked up tight. Have here. Medical chart number five. Patient Aoi, Aoi uh, Johan. Um, sex female. Blood B R H plus. Birthday March thirty first. Five five zero nine nine pounds. Reason for admission: water intoxication. So drank too much water. You shouldn't do that. Hanazawa. Female, blood A, RH plus, November 14th, height 5, height 5, 99 pounds, reason for admission, chronic migraines. Okay. I'm just going to check all these, these uh, little lockers and closets, just in case there might be something in them. <laughs> Patient Toya Beppu. Male blood O negative. October 21st. <coughs> height 520. Height 511. 154 pounds. Reason for emission heart failure. It's vending machine selling cartons of juice. It only takes coins. A machine for drinks. There's a coin slot as well as slot to insert one uh, one thousand yen bills. <coughs> uh, hey, old man, where are you going? Do I smell incense? Oh, what scent? The fire door is closed and locked. There's no way through. So we should be on the first floor now, right? Uh, hey, old man. I'm just walking right through him. Oh, I stop by the restrooms first. Well, this is the boys' bathroom. If someone were to see me, I'd be mortified. I should leave. You sure? There might be something important in here. Okay, fine. I guess we gotta maintain modesty even in a situation like this. There's a roll of toilet paper here. It looks fairly clean. I can use these to hide too. Oh, someone in here. Nickel chart number 28, patient Surakishima. <coughs> Female. B plus. April 18th. 410 pounds, reason for admission, cerebral hemorrhage from traffic accident. I'm sorry to hear about that, I hope you recover. Um, I'm here, right? What the hell's wrong with you? Are you trying to make a fool of me? 
You're the ones who are wrong here. I can crush you all like bugs if I want to, you know? Um, are you alright, sir? You need me to get you anything? Fire. Oop. Safe spot. <coughs> no, I do not want to delete my save file. Thank you very much. So, well, I guess it's nice that I can do it in game if I want to. Okay, I just want to see. Hello. Um, miss? Did I just see someone moving in there? Yes, you did. It says pharmaceutical uh, dispensary. The room on the other side of the glass seems to be in a rather haphazard state. Who's in here? Are you friendly? Medical chart number 25, patient show tour. Turi Mia. This computer on the desk. It's powered on, but its OS is locked. You can't do anything with it. Male blood B plus. Second, 5'7, 121 pounds. Reasons for emission, acute alcohol poisoning. You shouldn't drink too much, man. That's dangerous and reckless and just plain stupid. Desk, it's powered on, appears to be frozen with an error. <coughs> Hi. Stewardic. So stay back at the chicory. Whatever you know, Chio Fikota. Arumono, Umi. Are you Arumono, Sora? Are you okay? So stay. Arumono, a chio sneaker. Branches are the bones. Oh, no, I know. The earth is the meat. I shall breathe life. Don't you, Maresia? Some will be sent to the sea. Others will be sent to the sky. Still others will take residence in the soil. I shall rejoice in this life. For people are born without the means to abide the wicked breath. In time, you will destroy them. When equilibrium is lost, it can never be restored. Yet all I can do is watch as the wicked breath runs rampant. My final wish is to see it all return to the void. The meat chipped away. The bones broken. And all revert to naught but clumps of earth. Clearly, you're not all well upstairs. Hmm. Now, uh, skip feature for the dialogue. That might be an annoyance later on. <coughs> Still, um, thank you for unlocking uh, the pharmacy door for me. Hello. This looks like a play area. Rattle, a toy that makes a sound when shaken. Designed to calm babies. Select by the, via the inventory and press Y to use. I got me a rattle, bitches! I shall treasure it always. I'll use it to make noise. <coughs> so what's this tent here in the center? Uh, hello. What the fuck? What the hell is that? Okay, so now there's toilet paper lying around. Um, light switch isn't working. What the hell is that thing? It's like a 
cockroach baby thing. Okay, that definitely draws. That definitely, this thing definitely draws his attention. I'm over here. Good. Gauze. Use the time to stop bleeding and recover health. Okay. I'll take that as well. My switch isn't working. Whoa! Shit! What? Seriously, what the hell is that thing? Oh, hello. I guess you don't like the light. Come get me. Uh, over here. Here. Um, is is this actually doing any damage to you? safe for me to approach you? What the hell is this thing? Sure as hell is a lot different from anything I've encountered in previous games. That's a damn sure. Oh. Um. Did you just hang yourself? Oh shit! You're, you're about to! Um, hey, 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 uh, uh, okay, I guess it, it's too late, oh, shit, um, is that, is that thing still there, okay, no, it, it it's corpse disappears, <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, Where's the key? You probably have it, right? Um, you, you mind if I take it? No, obviously you don't mind. You're dead now. Pharmacy key. Key to unlock the pharmaceutical dispensary's door from the inside. It seems like an unnecessary precaution. You think? We're inside! What? Whoa. What the hell? Are those armored? Is that an armored goon? <coughs> Why do I have a feeling he's not friendly? Um, okay, let's just. I'm likely to need it again. Iomi decided to leave the key behind. Um, no, I. Why? I don't want to delete it. Let's just save right here. Just in case I need to load that old save again. Fire door is locked. Also locked. It's an old style vending machine with snacks inside hanging on hooks. Looking closely, there seems to be a key hanging from one of those hooks. God, this is like Silent Hill with keys hidden in all manner of strange places. <coughs> Looks to me like I'm gonna need to find some change somewhere. 
The vending machine is attached to the wall. It's been quite thoroughly beaten and dented in, with cans of juice spilling out from the dispenser. A sudden intense thirst overcomes you as you behold the carnage. I really want something to drink. But I haven't got any money. Well, better find some loose change hidden in some uh, places somewhere. Chart 14, patient. Takafumi uh, Takamatsu. <coughs> Male, blood B minus. Birthday, uh, February 15th, 5'8, 141 pounds. Reason for admission Sir Cosmos Syndrome. What is that? Uh, Sir Cosmos Syndrome. Going by the name, I assume it has something to do with uh, Middle e medieval style uh, sp uh, speaking. Hanada. Un uh, ulcer ulcerative colitis. These things aren't really very descriptive, are they? But then again, neither were the name tags. Anyway, uh, ulcerative coitus. It's a long-term condition that results in inflammation and ulcers of the colon and rectum. Yeesh. Okay, then. Definitely not something I'd want to get. like the front entrance. Uh, maybe before I go out, I should look around in here a bit more first. Oh, hello. You must be what was stopping the elevator. A man's shoe is positioned perfectly right at the threshold of the elevator, causing it to repeatedly open close. Someone must have put that here. That's only one way to keep the elevator from leaving this floor. Let's get that out of there. Move the shoe out of the way. Hello? Medical chart 19. Patient Chio Yokishiro. Birthday, uh... December 1st, blood A positive, 5'1", 110 pounds, reason for admission, asthma. Okay, so I definitely can return here anytime I need to, so that's good. Now let's try going out front. I look in here. Boys' bathroom. Still refusing to go in, even after encountering a big monstrosity, are you? I see something here. Medical chart number six. Patient Inoku uh, Kusunoki. Female. A plus. 13th, 411, 94 pounds, reason for admission, leukemia. You know, if these things are especially meant to act as like uh, name tags for corpses in previous uh, 
Corpse Party games. Where are the corpses? <coughs> Maybe they were eaten by uh, monsters like that thing we found in that playroom. That would be one reason why. But then where would all the blood... Where, there would be blood spatter and guts everywhere, though. Number 30. Uh, Suzara... Uh, 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 I'm in. Uh, female, A+. Plus, October 8th, 550. Four pounds. Reason for mission. Lower body paralysis. So you would need a wheelchair, then. Patient Kazuhira Sugawa. Nail blood O plus. December 28th, 57. 34 pounds used for mission. Apathy syndrome. Going by the name, I'm going to assume it's just basically is literally what it sounds like. You just have general apathy for things. <coughs> I can't see outside. Why is the exit shuttered? Maybe because we're in lockdown? There's a save point right here. Here. 100 yen coin, minted in 1967. Just what we need for that vending machine. Perfect. Won't open. The doors on Mac block seems to have kicked in. Both at the floor and up toward the ceiling. These locks aren't budging for anything or anyone. No. This can't be happening. <sighs> A cart? Last surface of the door, there's a web of cracks, as if something hard and repeatedly slammed against it. But the impact hadn't been enough to break through. Probably that cart. Someone must have tried to use this cart to break the glass and escape. Wish I knew. What's going on in here? Well, going by that big monstrosity that I've come that I come across, if I had to guess. I'd say something nasty has been unleashed in this hospital, and we are kind of in lockdown at the moment because of it. No, I can't give up yet. I need to try find another exit. I saw a light from the flashlight when I was over by the pharmacy. And I don't think it was from Hank or something. So I know I'm not alone here. If I could just find that person again. I'll be able to deal with this all so much better. Assuming that they're not hostile, they could be in the same situation as me, too. Objective updated. Find another exit somewhere. Another Sarah of Light, or have wheels attached, can be moved. If you see something that looks like it could be moved, press the A button while facing it, go around over it. I already figured that out. You can then use the direction to turn it around. Drive to nearby cars. Already did that. <coughs> Please don't go out. I don't want it to be in I don't want to be in the dark. No. We should probably get out of here. Don't huddle up on the ground. Move! There might be something in here. <coughs> like that. Not again. Oh, wait. You soiled yourself again? Perhaps because my muscles were still relaxed from the aesthetic, I found myself unable to control my bowels. Suddenly, and without warning, I'd yet again soiled myself. What is it with these Corpse Party games and its love for having, for having people soil themselves? Holy shit, man. I'm so sorry. I bet the hospital staff is going to be mad at me for that. 
Honestly, I think they have bigger problems on their hands than you soiling yourself. <coughs> I have to come. I have to come clean this up later if I get the chance. First, I'm going to need to change my underwear. With what? Uh, hey, you're that girl I saw earlier. Are you okay? Are you alone? The face of the young girl, already showing signs of extensive crying, suddenly twisted itself into a look of sheer, primal terror. Um... What was that? Some kind of telepathic link? <laughs> Were you re acting in terror to me? Or something else? I wonder who that was just now. She seems kind of familiar somehow. I feel like I have to protect her. Probably a relative going by the hair. I just can't remember anything clearly. It's so frustrating. <clears throat> I struggled to try and remember anything at all about myself, but all I did was make my head spin and turn my stomach in knots. <sighs> what even happened to me? <clears throat> Ugh. I really need to change my underwear. Uh, hello? Someone's there. Excuse me. Can you help me? It's so bright. Hey, there's someone else behind you. God, this is so embarrassing. I need to wipe up so badly. Please wait. I'm, um, uh, could you please turn that light away from me? It's very bright. I can smell incense again. I should probably run, shouldn't I? Huh? Oh, thank God. I guess it's an old person after all. I haven't established that yet. Um. Um. I. I don't know what's going on exactly, but. Can you tell me where this hospital is located? I don't know where I am right now. Can you not hear me? Oh, I'm fine, really. My head just hurts. That's all. I actually can't even remember why I'm here. Every time I try, I feel sick to my stomach. Uh, oh shit! Get up and run! Oh. Oh, shit. What the hell is going on here? Well, number one, there was a track I've heard in, uh, Corpse Party Returning Nightmares. Sorry, Nightmare, excuse me, there's no S at the end of that, but... <laughs> These creeps are still patrolling the entrance hall. I'm not going back out there. Okay. So I guess people are... There's definitely a lot of cra There's definitely crazies running around. That's not good. Anyway, um... I uh, got this coin I can use, so why don't I try that? Insert the 100 yen coin to the machine. Okay, emergency exit key. Wait a minute, I know where that is. 10 yen coins, two, uh, two uh, 10 yen coins. One was minted in 1992 and the other will 1997. Do we need to, is it important that I? Objective. Objective update, head to the fire escape on the second floor. Is it really important that I, uh, know what... when these coins were minted? Let's see if I 
Yes, we do. We got some right here. Can we use this? I guess not. Um... Is there anything going on down here? Towards that doll door the yelling got the yelling man? Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Okay, I guess I, I should I should just ignore you then, okay? You're clearly dangerous. Okay, uh, let's just, let's just go up here. Be down this way, and I still hear ringing. That is. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut things off here, and we can uh, try going through the fire escape and trying to find our way out of this hospital in the next episode. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty intrigued to know what the, I'm pretty intrigued by what I've seen so far. I want to know just what exactly is going on here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Corpse Party uh, 2 Dead Patient. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all next time. Take care.